So today we are going through rejoinder ellipse, and what you need to know before this is about buffer overflow and what the countermeasures are for buffer overflow. One of the uh, major countermeasures that are uh, very popular is the fact that it, uh, you know, you can just uh, make the hardware into a non-executable stack. What this basically means is that any malicious code, even which you're inputting in the present stack, will not get executed. So this is uh, more of a more in like a hardware level and most of the platforms have taken care of this however in this situation we can still conduct an exploitation and how we do that is by something called as return to libc it's just simply basically you return the address to this library so the thing is, how do you exploit it if the stack is not exploitable? Uh, I mean, so not executable. Can you do something when things are already in the memory? Find, can you find standard functions? Standard functions that we know of that are already present in the memory and then have an exploitation done. We can do that, right? So one of the major, um, the easiest, uh, and the one that I'm going to talk about right now is libc. So this library has a lot of uh, um, already present functions, and it's very easily exploitable. So one of such uh, such functions is your system function, which will execute anything. It's a system. Now, how can you make this malicious? How can you make this well, like you know? easily exploitable what you can pass through this is your slash bin slash sh that is your shell command to the system and execute this in probably the shell this is the concept of the exploitation basically while you're in buffer you've seen right that the functions are returning to some place it has a return address Okay, so I'm considering written as re from now on. What if you can return it to execute this value through system? And this, you don't have to explicitly put into the stack to and execute it. You can, be, it's already present in the memory. Right, so you have to do two things. One, invoke the system function. Second, Make sure that the argument supplied to this is system. And third is to ensure how you pass this as an argument to the function. All right. That is the main concerns. Now, you to actually get this running properly, you need like uh, approximately four things to get this running. What you need one is the base address of the current uh, program or the module that you're working on. Okay. Second is you need the system address where this function is located. Third, what you need is an exit address. We'll all come to like why we need all this. And fourth is obviously the slash bin slash sh argument address, right? Firstly, why are these? If you if you know other than this, there is also another thing called ASLR that is used as a countermeasure for buffer overflow. That is right. In uh, so this is basically a, a random implementation of uh, other member slots that you get in, in that case what you do is shouldn't these functions also have randomly ex randomly assigned memory as per hardware like system and all other library functions no so the point and the reason why this was so easily exploitable was that these uh, ASLR basically does not 
randomize library functions. Yay. And that's the whole point why we can actually even go through this. So system address is done, win SH is done, is explained. Exit address. Why we need an exit address is because uh, otherwise what will happen is bin slash SH will keep running and once the uh, program ends, it will crash the program. We don't want that. We want it to exit properly. We do not want a crash is any way avoidable. Correct, so this is how it goes. Now, if you see the stack wise, if you want me to tell you, this is your ESP register. Okay. And see, this is where your EVP is. Okay. Now, what we want is in the first say this is your fourth offset you put your uh, system address okay then to the eighth plus four that is total plus eight you will put your exit address okay so that it goes in properly and plus four that's your 12th offset you will put your um, arguments what is that that is your slash bin slash sh okay this is how you go about it so every four you put in these so when the return address returns it will directly return to this part that is your exit system and it'll execute this entire thing system slash bin slash sh and you should be able to get a root shell That is the point, right? So we are exploiting still, even when these things, even when uh, it's a non-executable stack. And return to libc. Now, how do you get these? Okay, the one of the uh, so say this the modular programming concern is say um, program one, right? Now, when you do LDD program one. You will get your um, you will get the base address that is your a okay so I'm just referring to these things here you get your base address now for other addresses that you need that is your system exit and bin as such uh, for bin slash as such you can just run I think I, mean, I think I should have done this in a command prompt but okay uh, strings ATX and you can have your library say whatever Linux GNU or if it's you have libc dot uh, whatever library that is dot six or five I think yeah and then you can just grep uh, slash bin slash sh this will give you the this will give you um, oh sorry this will give you D right for B and C, you can run read elf. Okay, sorry, that's elf. Pardon me, read elf. And you can just summon the library, the version, GNU, the uh, whichever sudo six, and you can grab system. And then you can also grab exit. So the, this will give you a uh, system and this grab exit will give you your exit address. All you do is in the OFA program, make sure that it comes in these offsets. Once you get the base address, these have to be added. You add these to the base address and then write in the system. So what happens is when, once you place it there, it will jump to that address from the base address and set up the correct offset and once you're there it will actually execute system bin slash sh and there you have your root shell 
That's return to lipstick. 